everyone, it's Nicole and thanks for joining me for day 28 of the December daily and this time around I'm going to do pinks and this too didn't take me any time at all. I think it was like 42 minutes to complete this layout. I think, um, you know, I'm, I'm not taking anything off the sticker sheets anymore or barely any and I'm basically using what is already off the sticker sheet so it's saving me a bunch of time and I'm getting a whole bunch of layouts done in one day too and uh, I am focusing on just getting these done though I'm not I'm not doing anything else I just want to get day 31 done and then I can start adding the pictures and just get back to some regular scrapbooking I want to <clears throat> my December hip kit should be here within probably by Friday so I'd like to get a few more layouts done with my November kit and uh, I already have all the stuff pulled out so I'm going to be working with that. Um, I do have day 30 done so all I have left is day 31 and then that's it and um, day 29 took me 29 minutes to make or no 20 minutes to make and then um, so it's it's going really quickly. Okay, so I had to stop the recording because I had a little coughing fit there. But, um, so it's what I was saying, it's just going really quickly and I really love the pink combination. And um, so I'm going to go quite far down the road. Um, I'm going to have actually, I think, all the papers all selected in this fashion. And then when I start putting in the embellishments, I'm like, um, I really wanted to use that mouse. And um, so I'm going to flip the whole thing around. This is where I realized the mouse is not going to fit that way. And then at first I thought, oh, well, you know, I won't use it. And I thought, no, you took it off the sticker sheet. It kind of has to get used up because I didn't want to get it to get messed up, you know, waiting for next year, let's say, so I can use it again. So I'm going to end up just flipping the sheet over so that it's going to be four four by six verticals and three three by or four three by fours but then I'm gonna have too many of um, the three by four cut so you see here I just kind of put two three by four on one four by six and then I'm just gonna mount them both on on an acetate and you can't tell and um, that way the cards, you know, the top one won't lay over the bottom one. They're going to stay put in their page protector. But that way it's going to be two little ones. And I just didn't want to have to cut any more pattern papers. Like I had already cut the ones that, um, that I wanted to use. And I mean, I still had to do quite a bit of patchwork to use some of the ones that I really loved. And if I only had a little piece of it, I did some patchwork and kind of did, you know, put them together so that I could use them because I just really love some of these pattern papers. And um, I was looking and I think I know that next year this is what I'm going to be looking for. Um, I'm going to be looking for if they make it... Um, Christmas patterns that have navies in it, have browns and pinks and teals. And <clears throat> I don't think I'd want, and this is just for me personally, I don't think I'd want, especially doing like a project lifestyle where there's going to be so much, I don't think I'd want to focus on only a few colors because I think I would get sick uh, of a color that maybe I really loved before you know what I mean like if I decide to do only teals and aquas which is one of my favorite colors I think by the end of the 31 days I would be sick of aquas and teals and I wouldn't want to scrap it for quite a bit after that um, because you know it's basically 31 12 by 12 sheets you know like none of them I put two days on one sheet Okay, so I had to stop the recording again. So no two days, you know, is one sheet. So every day is one full sheet. And um, 
I'm noticing that I wish that I had more browns. I really enjoyed the layout that I did with the grays. I really like that. And, but I couldn't do any more because I didn't have any more gray anything. So another thing I'm going to do is this wasn't all my Christmas stash. This was just, you know, a part of it. So what I'm going to do is by maybe <clears throat> July next year, I'm going to make sure that it's lots of time before I'm going to take an iris container. I'm going to go through my stash and I'm just going to throw in everything that's Christmassy and then I'll be able to see, okay, this is what I have. Then what do I need to supplement? Uh, maybe next year I'll look into making my own numbers. Uh, this year where I decided like basically the first of November to do December daily, I started November 5th and I decided that that was going to be my project for November to get as many done as I could. And today's December 10th and I'm going to finish uh, December 23rd today. So, and I started November 5th. The first page I did was November 5th. So it took me just a little over a month to get them all done. So I don't think, personally for me, I don't think it's a project that I can say, okay, I'm going to do it in December. Maybe if it was a smaller album, I could. But a 12 by 12 um, layout, I, I'm finding it I think it would be overwhelming for me to do on a daily thing and adding pictures. And uh, <clears throat> I quite enjoyed not adding the pictures. As okay, sorry, the recording stopped. So I'm not quite sure everything I said, but uh, the last part, it was, I was saying I quite enjoyed um, right now not adding the pictures and then just doing that at the end. And uh, today I loaded December 27th. So I have 28, 29, 30, 31, four days left to load. And that's going to bring me to Sunday. So on Monday, I'll start loading the videos for the first five days and the sec, you know, from day one to day five, day five to day 10. And I'll be able to do day 10 to 15 on Wednesday. So I'll be able to post three in a row. And then after that, I'll have to wait till the days actually get there to post the videos. And then... I'll get back to my regular um, posting on my website, which is, you know, once every second day and it'll be um, uh, scrapbook layouts and stuff. And um, I have a few things that I want to do too, because I just got my Marion Smith Color Lab. So I'm going to be working with that. Um, a few people asked about my Erin Condren planner to show, so I'm going to do that. Again, my brain, the way my brain works, I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but um, I can't move on to something else until the first thing is done. Like I just, I need to get it done. And then, so as soon as that's done, I am going to make a list of all the stuff that I need to, to do. Okay, sorry, I had to stop the recording again. I was sick last week. It's the remnants this week. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, if you've been following me for a while, if you're new, um, to, you know, just to give you an update, I've been, for a few years, I've been dealing with anemia. And last year, it got so bad that he set a little bit lower and he was going to have to give me blood transfusion. Anyway, they did one thing and um, it, it's not working. So now I'm seeing the specialist again. I finally got the date. It's January 26th. So we're going to move on to step two. And I'm hoping that step two works and that my immunity can start building up again. So if you hear me saying, you know, eye infection, sick, it, that's what it is. It's because I don't have enough iron in my body to kind of, you know, make my body <laughs> sustain itself. So... Um, and I sleep a lot and I hate it, but that's just what it is, is I just don't have the energy. So, and, um, so I, I do get a lot done, but I, I could get so much more done if I just didn't sleep so much. But anyway, um, <clears throat> so I'm still fighting off this darn cold. So I apologize for my voice and the coughing and the stopping and the starting and, so anyway, so back to the layout, um, I had quite a few scraps of, 
um, and you know what? I can't remember what pattern or book paper pad that came from. And it was all like there was, it was almost like one color. It was tone on tone. It had one side had chevron, the other side had snowflakes and polka dots. And it came in the pinks and the black and the green and the red. And I just so wish I knew what a collection that was because I would go and and buy that collection again for next year because I used it all up like I can't even find like the cover for it so I don't even know what collection it was but it was awesome so I, I might go to Simon Says Stamp and just google you know search for Christmas papers and see if I can maybe find it somehow I I think maybe it's my mind's eye but I maybe it's simple stories see that I, I really I don't know so I'll go looking for that so you can tell I kind of pulled all the things that are left from pink embellishments and there's hardly any left so that was you know the the purpose of the last four pages was to use up some of these embellishments that I pulled um, over you know the last 20 some days in specific colors so I, I just want to get them used up and that's it. I've slowed the video down so I can show you each little card separately. And if you are enjoying this uh, video series, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up. And also, if you have any ideas for the new year that I could, you know, maybe do a series on, give me your ideas in the comments below and I'll pick something and go with it. So thanks for watching. Bye.